This is Eight Days a Week from the Beatles, of course, an early classic from them. And uh, I'm doing it on my electric, on my telly, but of course you can play it on acoustic guitar as well. It's a real strummer for sure. There's not much to the tune. It's a pretty simple tune. I'm in standard tuning, uh, but it does have that cool little guitar intro, which we will go over right now. So basically these are all triad shapes. I'm on the 10th fret on the B string, 11th on the G, and 12th on the D. And then we will move that up using the first finger as the marker. We'll move it from the 10th fret to the 12th, and then all the way to the 15th, and back to the 10th. So it's 10, 12, 15, 10. And you want to engage the first E string open. You want to put that in there. So what's happening there, I'll talk about the strumming in a second, but I'm hammering up to the 12th fret on the second string. I hope you can see that. And then back off. And the strumming I'm using is down, up, down, down. With the hammer on happening right there on that second down stroke. Move it to the 12th fret, do the same thing. 15th. It's kind of scrunched up there, and then back to 10. So again, it's not too difficult to play, but it sounds really cool. And then we are into the song, okay? And all the chords are pretty standard, but the song has a very decidedly shuffle feel to it. That's the first thing you want to get at. Down, down, up, up, down. But again, it's not a straight eighth note feel. It's a, a shuffle feel, which is really a triplet feel when you break it down. But it's just a shuffle. And then you just apply that to the chords. So we have D, E, G major, and back to D. played that progression twice. Now a quick bit about George's part. He's doing the same chords but he's doing jabs and uh, you can play these in different ways but he's playing a down and two ups. One, two, three, and four. So you get this. That's the way I'm playing the chords. You can play them differently if you want. You can play whole bar chords and all of that, but it just sounds to me like he's maybe just using those first four strings. Uh, either way, it's going to sound good, right? So he moves through the chords um, with the D and then an E, which is just the uh, what I'm calling the four bottom strings, the first four strings, and then to a G triad bar across the third fret on the E and B strings, and then fourth fret on the G string and fifth on the D string. And again, you can play these differently and different players might do it in another way, but uh, what's important is getting those chords, copying them, so to speak, and getting those uh, percussive staccato jabs in there. So it's the same idea, D, E, G, and back to D. And you'll notice I'm doing the first one with a downstroke because it lands on the downbeat. And then the upbeat ones I'm doing with upstrokes. So even though this lesson is really just focused on that main rhythm guitar strumming part, I thought I'd mention that in any case. Okay, so then we move to a B minor. So we come off of this. So 
we've got B minor to G and then B minor to E. And just as a note, again, this lesson focuses on the rhythm guitar part. But on those parts, uh, if I remember right on the recording, George just kind of hits those chords and lets them ring. Well, John's kind of strumming away earnestly <laughs> on the acoustic, okay? So we have B minor with the same strumming. G, back to B minor, and then E. And then return to the previous chord progression. And then sit right there and repeat all of that again. And then we move to the bridge, which is played like so. So the bridge is A major. And then park it on B minor. then to E major, G major, A major. So we've got A, B minor, E, G, and A. back to the uh, A section, okay? And uh, the arrangement's pretty clear from the recording, so you can listen to that for sure if you have any doubts about it. But at the end of the song, you do uh, a few doubles on the G to the D, and then we head back to the uh, intro, okay? So let me show you how that goes. That, this would be the last time around. cool intro again and then finish it off with a ringing D chord. So there you go with Eight Days a Week by the Beatles of course. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, peace to everyone and we'll see you soon.